Prime Minister, Greg, the Minister of Culture. I think Prime Minister's views are, are clear. In the Lord Guite was the Prime Minister's ethics adviser, someone who we would expect to hear very little from. But the questions over the government's conduct and his position have been relentless. He's now stepped down, only one day after he told MPs of his frustrations and the fact that he'd considered going before. You haven't answered directly the question whether you contemplated resignation. Uh, I've mentioned that there are a few instruments available to a, an independent advisor. I'm going to take that answer as at least it was on the agenda. Uh, we've mentioned before in evidence that it's always on the agenda. After only 14 months in the job today, he released this statement, saying, with regret, I feel that it is right that I am resigning from my post as an independent advisor on ministers' interests. Ministers this evening were caught off guard by the news. But I've just actually arrived at the studio to learn of, of this breaking news. So I don't really know the details. I, I don't think we know the reasons for Lord Guite's resignation. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm disappointed, obviously, but I, I know that he's served the government well and we wish him well in the future. Lord Guite has had a turbulent time in the job. First, he had to investigate the funding of the Downing Street flat refurbishment, where he concluded the Prime Minister's actions were unwise, but not in breach of the ministerial code. Within a few months, it emerged there were messages he hadn't been given and he was said to be considering resigning. That intensified this month, when he said there was a legitimate question over whether the Prime Minister's party gate fine broke the ministerial code. His resignation today makes him Boris Johnson's second ethics adviser to go after Sir Alex Allen resigned when the Prime Minister stood by Priti Patel after he disagreed with the conclusion that she hadn't met the standards expected of her. The tragedy is that at a time when there are so many issues that need attention, the Conservative Party is propping up Boris Johnson and preventing the real action that people require. The person who should be leaving Downing Street tonight is Boris Johnson himself. And I think the country is waiting for Conservative MPs to do the right thing. Number 10 were taken by surprise, saying the Lord Guite had given his commitment to the role. They say they're disappointed but will be looking to replace him soon. And they'll hope the next person sticks around for a tad longer. Chiebkar News at 10, Westminster.